realize a bunch of you watching this channel don't actually yo-yo at all or know anything about it. And I tried to explain a little bit about yo-yoing, but I thought it might be good to explain why I got into yo-yoing, how I came about it, and what I think of it. So stay tuned for that. My first exposure to yo-yo was probably like a lot of people in the early 2000s in middle school. It became very trendy to have a yo-yo, and so of course I got one too. And we learned to make it go up and down. We learned how to throw it properly. Learned how to make it sleep a little bit and actually stay down at the end of the string instead of immediately coming back up. Learned a few basic tricks, you know, around the world, walk the dog, nothing super fancy. Then came all these yo-yos with bearings in them, the, the X-brains and the fireballs and the fanciness. Uh, I even got one of these fancy ones for Christmas from my parents. Still never learned very many tricks with it, and mostly at school it just became a competition for who could get their yo-yo to sleep the longest, which mine that I got for Christmas actually did pretty well, so I was excited. But years later when the weather got bad and skateboarding wasn't really a thing that we could do at the time, I got curious, and I found footage like this of yo-yo contests that showed that things went way beyond what I ever did. And I also found video like this on YouTube which explained how to do it and made it sound like actually something I could do. It was a lot of fun for me. Modern yo-yos are so much easier to deal with, and surprisingly I remembered how to do the things that I did before pretty quickly so I could get started and actually like learn some interesting tricks early on. It was really satisfying to try to figure out a trick and finally get it to work and have the yo-yo snap back to your hand at the end. Modern yo-yos also come with modern instruction and you can just go on YouTube and find things in slow motion. So I learned to do a lot of things I did not think I would learn to do. Most things I tried didn't go right on the first try, and sometimes it was sort of a struggle just to figure out what was supposed to be happening, much less make it happen. And a lot of times it would go wrong about like this. But that was fine too, because this is just a yo-yo and a thing to do for fun to get your mind off the computer. So uh, the stakes are pretty low here. When it does finally work though, and you do get it figured out, it's really cool. This is a trick I watched in a tutorial and finally figured out how to do, and now I could do it basically every time, and it's fun. Eventually the tricks slow down and it takes a lot longer to learn the next thing because things are getting increasingly difficult. But by then I was already hooked and it's already a thing that's pretty fun. And so when I have the energy and then find a trick that I'm excited about, I try to learn it. and. Uh, some of them are really hard and it takes a while, but when you get it, it's just that much more exciting. Also, thanks to the internet, I hooked up with people like Min, who helped explain things when even the videos weren't enough for me to understand what was going on. The OU community is really cool like this, and they're generally down to help as long as you're trying to learn. Even if your questions seem kind of silly, they've heard it all and they're down to help. So there you have it. If, uh, if that makes you curious at all or interested at all in yo-yoing and you don't already, then uh, let me know in the comments and I can give you recommendations for yo-yos to get started with that I've tried out and where to get connected and find the resources to learn to do stuff. And it'll be fun and we can do this together. And for those of you who are already yo-yoing, uh, let me know in the comments as well. I would love to hear your story about what got you into it. Because I'm really curious what people see that, that gets them excited about something like yo-yoing and what makes them think that's a good idea. So let me know what how it worked for you. Have fun.